In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your cPanel account to create subdomains and also add on domains. So, the first thing you need to do is log in to your cPanel web host account and then scroll to the bottom under domains. You would see a few links here, and the first is subdomains. Second is add-on domains, third is park domains, and so on. So let's first create a subdomain. Now, in many ways, a subdomain can be treated as an a different domain name altogether. And in fact, as far as search engines are concerned, they usually treat subdomains as a new domain name. Now, there are few reasons you may want to use subdomains instead of sub folders. The first is to create different portions of your website that focus on different aspects. So for example, I may want all my members to log in at members.youractualurl.com and then you'd see that cPanel will automatically map this subdomain that I've created to the document root and also to the specific folder uh, that matches this subdomain. So if I create members.youractualurl.com then any website or all the files or all the pages that I want to appear at members.youractualurl.com I would need to upload it to this folder via FTP. And let's click on create. Okay, so it says members.youractualurl.com has been created. And let's go back. Now you can see I have two subdomains. The first is members.youractualurl.com and the second is test.youractualurl.com. The difference between these two is that the first subdomain is not redirected and the second is redirected to www.clickbank.com. So the second reason really you may want to create a subdomain is to create a redirect link that whenever someone types in test.youractualurl.com uh, into their web browser and they would be taken to this website instead. So this is a simple way actually to create affiliate links. So now let's go back and let's take a look at how to create add-on domains. Now I'm back on the main page so I'm going to scroll to the bottom and click on add-on domains. Now before you can add a new add-on domain there are two things you need to do. First of all make sure that you have actually registered the new domain name that you want to use and second make sure that the new domain name is pointed to the same DNS server as the first domain name that you are using. This is very important otherwise the add-on domain feature will not really work. So now let me add on a new domain. Okay and cPanel has checked and verified that this is a correct domain name type. Okay so your actual URL.com and then you'd find that cPanel will automatically create the subdomain FTP username and also the document root which now goes to public underscore HTML dot your actual URL dot net. So what this means is that cPanel has created another folder within the root of my website. So when I want to use this domain name, I need to upload my files or set up a new blog in this particular folder which is available or accessible through my FTP program. Okay, But I can also change this if I want to. So I'm going to make it uh, a little simpler. Okay, I'm just going to ask cPanel to create a new folder called net. And this folder will be used for my new add-on domain, youractualurl.net. Now, unlike a subdomain, which is basically um, an extension before the main domain name, for example, test.youractualurl.com or members.youractualurl.com, an add-on domain is a completely new 
domain name that you can map to the same web hosting account as long as the web hosting account has cPanel and as long as they have enabled the add-on domains feature you can add on as many domain names as you want so this really helps you to save uh, money in terms of not getting a new web hosting account for each domain name that you want to use you can just get one web hosting account and then add on multiple uh, add-on domain names okay and then you need to enter a password but you can also click on a password generator okay and you can also generate as many passwords as you want until you find something that you're pretty much satisfied with and click on I have copied this password in a safe place basically this just tells you that you need to remember this password so you better copy this password and save it in uh, on on your computer and then click on use password and now you'll see both the password fields have been filled and the password indicators shows that the password strength is very very strong okay so now click on add domain so that's how easy it is to create add-on domains in your cPanel account. So once you create an add-on domain, then you just need to upload the files to correct uh, folder that matches your add-on domain. And then you can send visitors to the actual domain name itself, for example, your actual URL.net or whatever domain name it is that you have registered.